All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Voice GP development board. The Voice GP, as shown here, can do voice recognition, voice verification, which is basically a response only to my voice or the trained voice. So if I were to say a password in my voice and somebody else said the password, it wouldn't respond to them. It would only answer to me. So it's kind of cool, like futuristic almost. And it can also do direct audio output from the board, which means you can load this thing up with WAV files. It even The development board has this, an SD card slot, so you can load this thing up with that and have those files played in response to you know voice recognition or a response to anything you might want it to do. Because this board is so powerful that you can actually operate it standalone because it has all the functionality of a microcontroller. You have all your outputs, inputs. The board comes with push buttons and LEDs, and you can take this out and operate in a standalone uh, mode and have everything hooked up to it. I think you can do UR uh, communication between devices, and uh, it's got just about everything a regular microcontroller has, if not more. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about a few things it can do and I have an example loaded up here so let's let's play that and see if we can get this thing to talk to us what is zero plus three three did you say three yes great press the a button for a new problem what is nine minus nine one try again nine minus nine zero Great. You see, so this thing can do a lot. And right now what it's doing is just responding to my answers and coming up with new questions. It's very cool. So in this video, I'm just going to get you started and, and show you the code, how to get this thing to not only do audio out, and how do you record audio into this thing. I'll show you how to do that with Audacity. I'll show you how to build up the tables and the right files you need to do recognition and all that. So... Um, let me show you the actual file I'm going to teach you how to do. So this will be just a simple one with two files. We're going to tell it we have a trigger word that it's always listening to. And then when it hears the trigger word, it's going to respond with, with either open or close. So we can have this hooked up to another device that we want to operate. Okay, so let's go. Robot. Open. Opening. Robot. Close. Close. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at the computer and see the code. Alright, so here's the voice GP IDE, and this is where you'll program all your code, and this is also where you'll upload the code to the board. So let's get started. Project new, project save as. Now I recommend, oops, now I recommend making a dedicated folder just for this project so I made a folder already new project and I even have one made already so type in your project name there and go ahead and save okay then go to file new we need to make a source co code file file save a oops file save as and let's call it source and put it right in that same folder as your project then go over to source files, add file, source, open. Okay, so now we're ready to start coding. But let's first get some audio on this thing, and I'll show you how to play audio off the voice GP. So we're going to use Audacity to do this. I've already recorded a little sound bite here. So test, test. I should say, yeah, test, test. And let's first go down here and I'll have a link in the sidebar here where to get audacity it's free and easy to use it has all the tools you need to get audio on the voice GP so go down here to project rate change this to 22050 go to audio track let's split this into mono get rid of one side go to file export and then save the file somewhere um, I've already done this twice with open and close audio tracks separately. So then what you want to do is go down to your icon for the quick synthesis that comes with the voice GP and run as administrator. This is important to do if you have a Vista or Windows 7 machine since it won't work 
if you don't run as administrator okay go to file new project or I already got one made up so also make a folder dedicated just for this then go to edit add wave files and then you add that wave file or as many as you want that you already made then have them all clicked like this go to compress make sure they all compress correctly then go to build make sure it looks something like this and make sure all the files were built now if you don't get anything like this or you don't see an encoded size here that means it didn't go right and it might be that administrator thing I was having issues with it okay then what you want to do is go to the place where that file was built and it should be on my computer let's see program files uh, sensory I think is where I have it let me see yep sensory quick synthesis projects and there's the folder and you'll see a couple files in there then let's go back to my voice GP project here right click the top project there and open the containing folder now we need to add these files from quick synthesis to here but we don't want to just drag them in anywhere so let's go ahead and make a new folder we'll call it audio okay open that up and then copy and paste the header file that you made from quick synthesis and also the MCO file these are the only two files you need to do audio okay and we're ready you can get rid of this let's go back to the project files okay so now you have those files added now let's do the voice recognition files so again you would want to right click the and open the quick t2si as administrator um, generate those files pretty easy to do I don't even need to show you how to do it um, same thing you want to make a trigger word and then all your command words because we're gonna do a trigger word that followed by you know a command set list okay then go to where you saved that at and that should be in quick t2si and you'll have a whole lot more files in there in your new project file you want to go and make a new folder for the recognition stuff as well let's call it rec hog okay and what I do is just copy all of that actually over there okay copy all that in there and then you're good and you can close out of the quick t to a side you can close out of this and then let's see open this back up your voice GP project and you can start adding these files now alright so in header files let's add first the audio files and you want to add the audio header file then you want to add a resource file that's the MCO audio file now let's add the recognition files go back go to recognition add the first command header file then there's also a trigger file then go to resource files and then add all the MCO files in there there's one for command there's one for the trigger and then there's also this RSC net file so let's get all those in there which one did I already add okay I added the uh, command one okay let's see RSC net net then we have the trigger one okay and you're ready to go okay so now you can start coding and referencing these header files and everything to get going okay so let's go ahead and start that out